I was a phone sex operator for a while. All right, phone sex me. Go ahead. No. Come on. Okay, what are you wearing? Tidy whities well, Why don't you take them off for me? Okay, hang on. No, stop. <laughs> Can you get hot and sexy for me? Let me run around the station a few times. <laughs> How old are you? 30. So what's it cost a minute for you? I got like $9 a minute. Well, looks like I'll have to enroll myself in phone sex school now. <laughs> this is Kiss FM. I'm Billy Ham. And what up, Sean? I'm at this pool party in Mountain Park surrounded by women. I need you to come here and help me. <laughs> Having a good old time enjoying the tea cooling off with a bunch of liquor. <laughs> And a bunch of smelly pirate hookers. Dude, man, we got like 10 cell phones going on here. You guys are animals in Melrose Park. That's right, we are. Just wait till the sun goes down. Then the real sides of us come out. Oh, yeah, we got you blasting loud and clear. The whole neighborhood can hear you. Erica, it's Billy Hammond. Are you sunburned? I think so, yeah. I was hanging out with friends around DePaul, and we were walking around, and boy, it was so hot, my drawers turned into soggy underwear like Cheerios. That sounds really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. I love show. Ah, you're just kissing my butt for Fall Out Boy tickets. And that sexy 103.5 Kiss FM tank top you want to fall out of. I know, but I love listening to the radio station. I love listening to Kiss FM religiously. So you want to fool around in our confessional? Hmm? <laughs> God. I am the Reverend of Chicago Land Radio. That needs work. Hey, it's Billy Hammond. Hello, my car 103. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. What's your name? Thank you. My name is Summer. How hot? Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Are you as hot as summer, darling? Yes, I am. <laughs> well, good. Then you're going to look sexy in the 1035 tank top you're getting. Awesome. Even better. <laughs> and you can wear that when you see Fall Out Boy June 11th, Charter One Pavilion. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. I'm, like, shaking right now. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Usually I have that effect on women, but they run away. <laughs> Uh-oh. Not me. I'm here. All right, sexy summer. Have a great time, and thanks for listening to 1035 Kiss FM. Thank you. Hey, it's Billy Hammond. Who are you? Valerie. I'm from Elburn. Um, I just want to let you know, Sandwich is a real town. I live out here, too. You do not. Sandwich is by Plano. Plano's by Yorkville. Yorkville's by Sugar Grove. Sugar Grove's Elburn, then DeKalb. You've been drinking, too, haven't you? No, I live in Elburn. If you guys would come out here for free ass Friday, you would have known that. Sandwich. I've never heard of that. It's a real place. If you look on the map by Yorkville, it's just west. There's Plano and Sandwich. How about that? Well, do you know where the gyro shop was that she was talking about? The gyro shop in Yorkville? I don't know where it is, but I've heard of it. Gyro? I don't know where that is. I live hey, you like to hang out at the gyro shop in Sandwichville. What? It's Sandwich, not Sandwichville. You like to hang out in Sandwichburg. Yeah, my friends live out there, man. You live in Sandwich Town. I live in Elburn. All you people who live in Sandwich Town are full of mustard. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> just want to let you know it's a real place. <laughs> well, thank you for calling. You're welcome. I'm just going to sit here and entertain myself. <laughs> I know, I noticed. Bye. 103.5 Kiss FM. I'm Billy Hammond. I can be on American Idol too, you know. Fregalicious. Fregalicious. Uh, uh, Fregalicious. Woo! That's terrible. Wait, what? Play it. Don't sing what? it. Play what? it. Play what? it. Don't what? sing what? it. I bet you're better at playing Fregalicious than you are at singing it. <laughs> well, who's this? Uh, this is Steve, and I think Fregalicious better than you. Let me hear it, Smarty Pants. Oh, oh my favorite part is my body stays vicious. I'll be up in the gym just working on oh, my I'm a fitness Fregalicious. He's my witness. Who? She keeps the boys on rock rock. You know, I'm too busy making martinis in here. I don't pay attention. Right, right. It's the season to drink in the afternoon at work. Um, <laughs> but really, how about that song? This is by far the longest I've talked to any DJ ever. Because I call your station often is the thing. Oh, no. I'm not a DJ, my friend. I am Billy Hammond, radio superhero with a big cape. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. You have been drinking martinis, haven't you? <laughs> Where are you calling in from? Uh, right outside O'Hare Airport. Probably pretty quiet there daily, huh? Uh, yeah. I've only got a bunch of cracks in my ceilings from all the planes flying over. You know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I only have one crack. <laughs> Do you have any holiday shopping stories you want to share? Um, I'm Caitlin, and I'm from Naperville, and I work in retail, and it sucks. Like, people are so rude, and the biggest thing that I hate is when they <laughs> take clothes off the <laughs> and they <laughs> roll them everywhere, and they leave their <laughs> in there. Today, no, no joke, we had a kid pee in domestic, and the mom took a cup and had part of it in the cup and then laid a bunch of comforters and mattresses down to cover it up. Take a deep breath, darling. 
No, <laughs> disgusting. That mom needs to learn to pick up her own kid. <laughs> Not our mom that your kid has to go to the bathroom. I, I don't swear really. I'm just very. Oh yeah, sure. Certainly doesn't sound like it. Oh my god, I'm ready to like gargle with some soap. And that's the retail side of it, ladies and gentlemen. Chicago's hit music space 103.5 Kiss FM and Billy Hammond holiday shopping horror stories. Do you have any? Carrie, and I'm from Berwyn. My holiday horror story, although there's there's several of them, this one is the best. Happens to be at uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken over on Ogden in Harlem. What happened? I sat through the drive-thru. She told me it was only going to take five minutes for my order to come up. And I'm sitting there and. He just, you know, blasting the radio, and next thing I realized, 20 minutes had gone by. So I walked into the place. I said, excuse me, but you told me five minutes. I've been waiting 20 minutes. This girl yells over the counter to the kid that runs the food out from the drive-thru. And she, he says, uh, oh, yeah, I brought it out already. I gave it to some dude. I said, I don't look like a dude. And no, you didn't. I have nobody else in my car. So the kid runs out to the parking lot, grabs the chicken from the car that he brought it out to, which they still happen to be there, brings it back in and expects me to take the chicken. Ew! He says, no, I'm not taking it. He's like, why not, dude? Oh, man! <laughs> I said, first of all, son, don't call me dude. And second of all, no, I don't know who's been fingering that chicken. <laughs> like, no, I'm not going to get it. From that point on, it just got worse and worse. They're just extremely rude. They didn't understand why I wouldn't take the chicken. So I'm standing there. I said, either make me more or give me my money back. So another 10 minutes goes by. I said, excuse me. And the woman says to me, oh, are, were you waiting for more chicken? So, yeah, so now I've just completely banned the KFC over on Harlem and Ogden and Berwyn. So the moral of the story is, everybody, fondle <laughs> your own chicken. <laughs> there you go. I was wondering if I could request kind of an older song. Ryan Cabrera, True. What's your name? Caroline. I just got engaged, and it's like our song, and it's half of night, and he's on his way to work right now. He just got engaged when, last night? Well, tell us what happened. Oh, it was the sweetest thing ever. No, he took me out. Uh, we went on a hot air balloon ride, and, <laughs> and he hates heights, so it's like a really big deal, and then... You know, he did it, he proposed up there, and he had this whole long speech, pro like, oh my goodness gracious. And then he took me down, we went on one of the horse carriage rides downtown, which is something I've never done. And then we went to Buckingham Fountain, and they had, you know, how they had that huge, like, light and um, music show. Right. It was my favorite thing ever in Chicago. So then we did that, and then we went to Navy Pier, and at Navy Pier, my entire family was there, and his family was there, and it was just, oh. <laughs> Are you getting teary-eyed? You're making me yeah. teary-eyed. <laughs> no, it was really, really, really exciting, and it was wonderful, and yeah, so. What's his name? His name's Dave. Well, how big is the rock? How many carrots? You know what? And thank God he didn't do it. It's only a, a one and a half. Oh, you need to dump him. <laughs> That's so bad. I don't remember why I'm <laughs> Oh, oh, are you taking stories from last night? I'm yeah, sorry. what happened? Tell me. <laughs> my my two friends, Dan and Dave, they came out to all of us last night, and they were totally straight, and they, the two of them like just started like making out in the middle of the entire party. It was insane. Interesting. They were that drunk, huh? We woke up this morning, and they were like spooning. It was really weird. And we were like, do you guys remember what you did last night? And they're like, no. And we're like, oh, well, <laughs> I think you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Ed. Thanks for listening. Okay, no problem. There you go. Something like that would be good.